All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Welcome to Thinking Biblically. This is the 15th day of October in the year of our Lord, 2023. Ah, the situation in the Middle East, I just can't get this off my mind because it's exceedingly dangerous. Uh, Hamas has now wisely appealed to President Putin of Russia to uh, mediate because he's the only sane individual in the entire area. The United States has no president. Once upon a time, a president of the United States would have stopped this long ago. Eisenhower, Truman, LBJ, Kennedy. I don't know what uh, uh, Carter would not have been capable. Nor, nor was George W. Or, you know, we, we, there's been a long time since we had a president... Some of these presidents were rather uh, uh, not the nicest people in the world. But at least they had a spine, and at least they could tell Israel to stop. Uh, there is nobody here to say that now. In fact, what Israel is getting from the West, from the, uh, the crazies in the EU and the UK and the United States, is a bunch of rah-rah, kill them all talk. The United States sending two carrier battle groups. Well, they would make nice decorations. They would make nice artificial reefs at the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea, in my opinion. I think Russia could counter that by just... They, I'm sure they have a few subs in that area. Uh, battleships or aircraft carriers are obsolete nowadays anyway. Hamas might sink them, or uh, Hezbollah might sink them. Foolishness, foolishness. Remember last time when uh, uh, Reagan put the battleship off the coast of Lebanon? Remember what happened? The United States had to leave with their tail between their legs and a bunch of body bags. This has to stop now. There must be an immediate ceasefire. Israel has already ex ex uh, extracted more than an eye for an eye. Especially considering they instigated the whole thing on Thursday prior to Saturday by the Israeli government essentially seizing control temporarily of the Temple Mount, of the Alaska Mosque, the compound, deliberately provoking this Israeli government needs to be removed. They are exceedingly dangerous. They are radicals. They are, well, <clears throat> YouTube won't like it. So I better be quiet there. There must be an immediate ceasefire. This will, uh, Israel has to not invade on the ground. They need to withdraw their tanks immediately or this whole thing is going to spiral out of control. And Israel is going to lose a lot more blood and a lot more children. In God's sight, the children of the Palestinians are equal to the children of Israel. They are all his people. He is their creator, and he seeks the salvation of all. He provided atonement for all in Jesus Christ. Israel must immediately back off and be satisfied 
They have already extracted vengeance. Or, if they do not, if they go in and continue their slaughter, their genocide, their ethnic cleansing, it's pretty obvious why they have told the residents to move to the south end of Gaza on the Egyptian border. Egypt understands what Israel's doing. That's why they've kept the area closed. They, Israel, or Egypt could easily open up that whole border, regardless of what Israel says. They have sufficient ability to do it. It just takes bulldozers. They could open up that concentration camp. But Egypt understands what Israel's up to. They want to force the Palestinians out of Israel into Egypt. We've seen what Egypt has, or Israel has done since 1948. And they've gotten worse. And this current radical government, Israel, you must remove Netanyahu and those radicals. I believe there's already probably a prison cell waiting for Netanyahu anyway. Israel already knows the danger with the court reform. These radicals are trying to seize absolute power. Israel has to take action against the Netanyahu government. Or they will get a lot more Israelis killed. He is not acting in the interest of Israel but in his own personal interest. Look at the people he put in government. I mean, if I can find out in a few minutes by going to Wikipedia, then I'm sure the people in Israel know. You can shut him down. You know how to do it. Israel knows how to have a national strike. I suggest you consider that option. That you say enough is enough and remove the rogues from power. Before you're consumed in an inferno that you will not be able to put out. Let me explain. This is not hard to understand. All you need to do is understand human passions a little bit, human sinfulness. The Muslim governments of this world, all of them, if Israel continues, will have to respond, or their own people will rise up and overthrow them. They must respond to what Israel is doing in Gaza, and the West Bank now, with Palestinians being uh, murdered in the streets by settlers and soldiers. It must stop. And Israel is in the position of power. It must start with Israel stopping what they're doing. Already more than an eye for an eye smashing cities, using white phosphorus on cities. Israel is committing war crimes, and the whole world sees it. They will end up as a pariah state in the entire world. And eventually, the people in the West will be overthrown because they have led their own countries into ruin. Biden has already passed his expiration date. Hopefully God will remove these people. Or the Messiah will return. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Because that's the only real solution. That's the only lasting solution. Only he is able to bring peace to this world. But in the meantime, I am compelled to warn you because this will be an inferno. 
Hezbollah cannot sit there and twiddle their thumbs while this is happening. You go in on the ground, escalate more, and they will begin to come in. Really, not just shooting one or two rockets. Not just lobbing some mortars at a radar station on Lebanese soil. Which Israel sees too. Israel has pushed things way too far. And now the chickens are coming home to roost, as they say in this country. To all the parties involved, I will quote the Old Testament prophets, since both the Muslims and the Christians and the, uh, and the Jewish people recognize the Old Testament prophets as being from God. What does God require of you but to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God? Do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. There are solutions to this. And I'm bold enough to propose one. The West Bank goes back to Jordan. And everybody on the West Bank gets Jordanian citizenship. Gaza Strip goes back to Egypt, and everybody there gets Egyptian citizenship. And Israel tears down its walls and disarms its nuclear weapons. Start there. Learn how to live in peace. Learn how not to attack your neighbors every other day. Repent. Learn how to do justice, how to love mercy, and how to walk humbly with your God. What is right in the sight of God. That's what justice is. Thou shalt not murder. Israel can't even keep the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's property. Well, there's two out of the ten, at least that Israel hasn't learned yet. And I'm sure I could think of one or two others, too. If you do not treat your neighbors with respect, if you think you're superior, that you're no worse, no better than the worst, the worst of anyone else. No better than uh, those who murdered some 12 million in total, not all Jews, in Europe some 80 years ago. They had an ideology of racial superiority, too, of ethnic cleansing, just like is going on in Ukraine with the Banderites, with that government there, that the United States is also supporting. What is this policy with the United States today to, to support what the entire world fought to get rid of two generations ago? This government has to go, too. There needs to be a deep cleaning in Washington. 
There will be when the Messiah comes back, if this land even still exists. The God of Israel does not bless those who murder, those who steal, those who lie, those who do not properly govern the people that belong to God, which is all people everywhere. There is only one God. And the earth and its fullness belongs to him. It is his land. The ways of peace they have not known. Again, a good start would simply be go, going back to 1967. Auntie, before that. That would be a start. Reparations for those, the rest of those are displaced from 1948. Perhaps even the right of return. Open borders. Live at peace with your neighbors. Treat others as you would have them treat you. Speaking to all sides. Since all sides claim to worship the one God, why don't you listen to him? He is not the God of hate. The Apostle John, one of Jesus' disciples, says God is love. You know, if you love your neighbors, you do not do these things to them. God offers forgiveness to all, and he also offers a new heart and a new spirit and his own spirit dwelling in you. That's what Jesus Christ died on that cross to purchase. The Messiah, the one promised in the law and the prophets, the one who is coming to go again, would be a good time to repent of your wickedness all make yourself ready look to him trust in him because he is the prince of peace the mighty God the creator it all belongs to him